bitch, we have Bloom Twin. I'm Bloom Twin number one and two, she's one and two. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> So YouTube is quite good. Thank you for everyone <laughs> for watching. Yeah, it's really good. It's actually our first song that we uh, released, and we never thought about you know like pushing it so it's gonna become you know sort of famous. But for some reason, and I was so surprised actually, many people were super interested in that, and it's a really simple video. And but yeah, again, like 100,000 of people watched it, so I think it's a good sign. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm super happy about that. It's great. It's yeah, it's the first song we did in, in London, which is amazing. Okay, I think I remember one. Uh, it was by Beatles Help, I knew but that's not because that. we picked that song, but because <laughs> our parents were playing that every day and we were getting out by help, I need somebody. And back then, we couldn't speak English so well, so we just heard some kind of language with the cool melody. So, <laughs> Japan is amazing, it's not the first time we went to Japan, and it's the third time, and we've been there a couple of times for two months. So now I learned Japanese a little bit of Japanese. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so I would really love Japan and even though I said something bizarre in Japanese it doesn't make total any sense but it doesn't matter. We had a tour in Japan and it was super exciting for us because we played for Jiran Jiran and there was the closing tour of their worldwide worldwide tour mm -hmm. and uh, absolutely loved it you know being on the same stage with Niall Rogers with Duran Duran and then previously with Seal as well in the UK it's amazing you feel like oh my god if I die now I did something with my life, you know. <laughs> so we are very dark pop, as you can yeah, tell. Yeah, yeah. If we die, we're happy already. So that's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> let's keep going. <laughs> no, I absolutely love oh, his We're last very much pro Bieber yeah. and pro Rihanna and pro Nicki Minaj. <laughs> no, we actually like, as long as it's good and I see the person, you know, actually honest about mm. it and you see that the person spent time thinking about the song and writing the song. I like everybody, I like every single artist. But again, it needs to be clever and it needs to be just real. Authentic. Just real, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just real and fun and cool. I don't like to be like, ooh, I just listened to rock music and that's all. No way. I like to be diverse. I like to, you know, see something new. Rihanna, I she love 50 me. Cent as well. <laughs> I love. love it so much. Even though our music has nothing to do with 50 Cent, I love it so much. Um, I like different stuff. So I like shoe. I like disclosure. I like. I do like Rihanna. Don't get me wrong. I I have Bieber on my playlist. I'm gonna be guilty as that. <laughs> and um, yeah. So and I like. I have Duran Duran on my playlist. Oh yeah. Yeah. I have classic music. I like Chopin as well. So mm. I'm really diverse. Again, I don't like to step on something. You know, just one style. Dua Lipa is quite cool. Oh, Dua Lipa is great. Yeah, 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 she's breaking through. I like the Be The One, Hotter Than Hell. Yeah, I pretty much every single song she released. <laughs> yeah. Mm, dark pop. So not really pop, but kind of pop because it's dark. Does that make any sense to you? Or... <laughs> yeah, we didn't really work. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just she, kidding. She just I'm gave just you kidding. a shitty answer about dark pop. I mean, dark pop, again, we never try to, uh, you know, just choose the style and do something mm. that it sounds like that style that we chose. No, we always like wrote music that were influenced by our, you know, life experience and stuff. And dark pop, I think it was quite good to describe it because me and my sister were so different. Mm. Like black, black and, and white, white Indian. opposite, like the opposite. Like She's like, likes to be out of frame and I like to, you know, specify things, to put to them put in the box, in the frame, you know, sort which of is pretty thing. good. So black and white, dark pop, Sometimes we have good and bad moments in our life, so I think it's quite cool. It's not only melodic, it. we have something to talk about, so it's not only about music, it's about the message that we're trying to deliver. Um, it's actually, every single time, is uh, when we write songs, it, every single time is quite different to the previous one. So, again, if it's something that influenced us, uh, you know, like a moment in our lives, so like Ukraine, for example, mm. we were in Ukraine, and then there was terrible things going on a couple of the years Maiden ago. Square. Yeah. And, there was like people who were standing for their, you know, rights and fighting for their rights to because they were so, uh, so tired of our country being super corrupted. Exactly, so yeah. that you know, without we didn't do any lyrics. We just decided to you know just change completely cover of Bob Marley song and put that documental footage on YouTube so people see what actually happened in Ukraine, what was happening in Ukraine. 
And at the same time, sometimes we just like to start with chords if we write our own songs, right? And then Sonia will come up with a vocal, or I, or I will come up with the vocals, and then we completely Harmonies, change the instrumental yeah. again. So again, it's every single time. I would not like to think that's the only way how it should work. Nah, be creative. We also like to swap instruments, so it's never the same. So that's something that we're going to do all for our gig on the seventh. Uh, no our drummer question. is going to play guitar, I'm going to sing, and I'm going to play a little bit of drums. Hopefully I can manage that. <laughs> I will see. Trying to yeah, swap. Yeah, yeah. Wow, Vivian Westwood. David Mas Bowie. <laughs> Franco Moschino, before 90s, not Moschino, but Franco Moschino. Uh, then... Uh, John Lennon. Definitely. Stylist? So I like somebody who has a message in You mean fashion-wise? No, no, like, you, do, you mean like just icon for us, right? Icon yeah. of fashion music. Fashion, fashion. Yeah, so if David Bowie for me is like perfect. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, just said that. Yeah, that's it. Right. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. amazing. I mean, because he can make, he makes it. Um, so much. Fashion and music, and it's just amazing because he was never afraid to look, you know, weird. Because obviously, if you look from the beginning, people were like, "What the hell?" He was wear? a mix between <laughs> art, fashion, yes. and music. Yes. Theoretical. It's really cool. I think it, it inspires me a lot. Madonna. I like the '90s style when she was wearing that. That was a lot of fun. Um, Lady Gaga was cool. I like her. Oh, she's still cool, sorry. <laughs> she's uh, still cool. Then uh, who else? Rihanna is nice. I like her. Uh, she's also doing a bit of like, you know, big, oversized suits, cool 90s makeup, etc. I kind of like that. Prince too. is great. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's be, really yeah. amazing as well. Oh, Michael Jackson, come on. He used to be. Uh, and Liz I goes mean, on. Why are they all on. dead? Jesus. <laughs> They're <laughs> not so all dead. What are you doing? I mean, okay, like, we have to from the that ones part. that I said. Okay, you know, yeah. yeah, great. <laughs> we are terrible. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Well, I, I don't know if that's weird, but every day when I wake up, I watch all of the old school interviews with my favorite Nothing like artists also it. like read a lot about fashion and art don't ask me any questions because i'm gonna be really red um uh, <laughs> and then i know lawrence japanese if she already said it's, i don't think it's very weird if talking about weird stuff okay that's something heard my really arm. okay weird then, sorry sorry yeah. <laughs> something weird to say and it's quite humiliating but i, I will just give it for you guys go on. Uh, if I go somewhere, like if I leave the house, it's my OCD thing. If I leave the house, I have to go to the toilet. Even if I was there like 20 seconds ago, I have to go to the toilet. It's like OCD thing. Okay. <laughs> I know it's weird. We said something weird right here. You go. Very, oh, oh, I like to cut clothes. So oh. if I don't like it, I'm going to be cutting that chopping and I'm like, oh, that's great. Now Anna, you can wear it. And she would be wearing it. Don't so I'm good. I'm good. leave your clothes near her. Mm. <laughs> then. Yes! <laughs> we are so into Stranger Things. I love them. They're oh amazing. God. And music is amazing as well. I've yeah. seen the second uh, season already, so... You remember this girl that does that with her head? Oh my god. Oh, I you want to do it now? <laughs> One, two, three. three. <laughs> so, we're Our literally Instagram, everywhere. Facebook, YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, everything. SoundCloud, everything. Website. So. Yeah, and you know where where you can find us on 7th of December? You can come uh, to 229 venue on yeah, in London to see us play. Yeah. Even if you're far away, just fly here because we're so cool. <laughs> She's <laughs> terrible. <laughs>